how to sensor blur a face within Premiere Pro. Once I learned how to do this, man, does it speed up that workflow. If you're new here, my name's Javier Mercedes and I do Premiere Pro tutorials, video tech, and talk to inspiring individuals on this channel. If you're into that thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into this tutorial. For a really random example to show you how this works, here's me doing an interview with YouTuber Matt D. Avella, one of the most amazing creators doing some awesome stuff on the platform. Let's say I wanted to censor out my face. To begin with, we're gonna go to our effects by hitting shift seven, or you can bring that up by going to window effects. Then we're gonna type in the word mosaic and under stylized, we have the effect mosaic. Go ahead and click and drag that onto your clip and whoa, which gives you this almost Minecraft like art, which is not really what we're going for. So we're gonna hit shift five, go back to our effects controls window. And again, if that doesn't work, you can go to window effects controls. And right here, we have dragged on this mosaic effect to this clip. I'm gonna turn off that so we can see what we're doing. We have a couple tools here. So one way is to grab the pen tool and draw around the object, but I find it's a little bit easier to do an ellipse tool, kind of move it into the position and go a little something like this. I'm gonna to toggle the mosaic effect back on. This looks a little too blurry. So what we can do is adjust our horizontal and vertical blocks. So I'm gonna actually add more vertical and horizontal. And that's kind of what people are used to seeing. And this next step blows my mind that you can do this inside Premiere. And I love them for adding this feature in there. All you have to do is go over to your mask and hit the play button and it's going to track select your mask forward or backwards. So I'm going to track select forwards and it's going to track whatever the object is within your mask throughout the whole clip. If it stays inside the frame, watch this. What you might do is maybe stop it during the process just to make sure that it's doing a good job. Looks like it gets off a little bit right there. So what I may do is move this into the position, rotate it just a little bit so my face is in there, and maybe delete these ones, and then track forward from there and see what we get. Looks like it does a pretty good job of staying with my face in between that little break right there. And look at that. As you can see, my face is blurred out, and now it's all about Matt. The only thing to point out is in areas like this where maybe it gets off just a little bit, all you have to do is go in, maybe delete a chunk of the keyframes and click your mask, kind of drag it into place, and that will kind of set an anchor in between both points. Maybe this right here, do a little bit right here. And you don't need to redo all of this, just make sure that you anchor it into position and I wish I would have known about this so much sooner in Premiere Pro. If you were looking to censor beep bad words in Premiere Pro like this, I'll show you the quickest way how to do that in a video that I have on the screen right now. Don't forget to share this tutorial with your video editing friends if you got value from it. And until next video, my name's Javier Mercedes and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance.